Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. After having completed the collections in Swift, it is high time that we understand structures and classes. In Swift, there is not much difference between the class and structure. And also in Swift, we don't have a word called as object. We use a very common term called as instance. So if you have book structure or a class, then we use the term instance of a book structure or an instance of a book class. And if you are wondering how do you define a structure and a class, you use the keyword struct and class. So let's assume that we basically want to define a structure for book. A book has a name, price, year of publication, author name and quite a number of attributes. So let's restrict ourselves to these five attributes as of now. And if I want to define it, I will be writing all those variables and I will be putting them together under structure with flower brackets. So this is how a structure definition looks like. You use the keyword structure followed it by the structure name and then the various attributes and the corresponding annotation type declaring what type of data type that particular variable represents. I am sure you will be wondering what next. So to understand hands-on aspect let's go to playground. So let's define a struct called book opening and closing flower brackets and here you can declare variable name of the book and the annotation type is string and then you have author once again string and you have price i would like it to keep it float and then variable year of publication then finally another variable isbn number which is a international standard book number for any book so it will be a, a large number and it will be an unsigned integer so this should be fine for declaring a book now how do i declare a variable and initialize it with a book well to do that all i have to do is variable sample book declare it of type book and then i will write and as you can see as i open the bracket playground will suggest me with the initialization part what you are basically seeing here is called as member wise initializer we will get into initialization aspect a bit later in much more detail but as of now it basically tells what are all the different attributes of the books are and what data type it is so that i can just initialize those values so i can write composing mobile apps and this is the initialization of the structure and if I want to print it I can print the sample book and as you can see here this is what the structure looks like so it's just like any other normal variable declaration you can even use let and it still works perfectly fine only the difference is now this sample book is a constant you can initialize the sample book in the later part of the code in swift you use structures rather than classes so the string float all these variable data types that you had been using previously in the earlier part of the tutorial they are all defined as structures in Swift. Using structure is more dominant way of doing things in Swift. So right now each and every attribute is a variable type but what if it is a constant type? How does that work? Well it still holds true that you can declare a attribute of a structure or a class as a constant but there is a slight difference that how this particular attribute cannot be changed later point in time in the application. What do I mean by that is if I want to change the sample book ISBN to some other value I won't be able to do it it will give me a compilation error because ISBN is a constant however let us try to do the same for name you can do it a attribute which has been defined as a where can be changed in the later point in time but if defined as a constant once you initialize it in the initialization that value cannot be changed and what about the sample book itself can I give a, another initialization for the sample book let let me try to do that you will observe that since sample book has been defined as a constant after first initialization you cannot change it however if i had made it as variable then this particular part would have worked perfectly fine and in swift you can have a function inside a structure i can just write a function here get book info and return type is a string let me return a string containing say for example self 
dot name self dot author so it will basically return me a string with the book name by author and let me invoke this particular function sample book and to access function that is defined inside structure you can invoke dot operator so it is sample book dot get book info and that should give me the string containing the name of the book by author you might be wondering how i was able to initialize this particular sample book with this member wise initializer where did we get it does the swift provide it how does initialization works and what if i want to slightly change initialization procedure for the structure so we will discuss about the initialization part in a much more detailed manner in the next video that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye